Our guest today, folks, is Brandy Stark. Brandy is a professor at SPC, an artist, and a paranormal investigator. What happened here, folks, is that one of our tigers out of New York decided that they wanted to hire her to figure out why the market never goes down. Only kidding, folks, okay? Brandy has been investigating paranormal experiences in St. Petersburg, Florida since 1997. Initially, she started Spirits of St. Pete as a hobby, but guess what? It grew into a group of uh, five folks that uh, have done dozens of investigations, and uh, guess what? We want, we're gonna find out what's going on. Brandy, welcome to TFNN. Thank you so much. So, Ooh, it's been a day. <laughs> I, yeah, so, I, it's been a day trying to get hooked up with us, right? You must be paranormal, man, right? So for, first, us, tell, us, <laughs> tell, tell us exactly what paranormal means. Uh, paranormal uh, and supernatural kind of are somewhat interchangeable, but uh, we're dealing with what are called liminal state beings, so things that are in between worlds. Uh, and primarily, my group focuses, obviously, on ghosts or spirits. So okay. it's been fun. And so talk to us about what you've discovered and how and, and just exactly, you know, like, yeah, tell us what you've discovered and, and where the thought process is here. Paranormal investigation is kind of an interesting thing. And as a, an academic, um, formerly of SPC, I'm, I'm teaching part time right now at State College, Florida. But, oh, cool. OK, uh, it, it is. It's a difficult line to walk because essentially paranormal investigation is still a pseudoscience. It's getting better, yeah. but it's really fueled by entertainment and television. Um, although there is you know, a little bit more of the uh, engineering and the scientific that's looking into it. Um, but what I've really discovered throughout all of my years of both uh, academic and paranormal investigation is that ghosts, uh, basically the ghost story is from all space and all time. Uh, back to the Epic of Gilgamesh all the way through today. And I really thought I'd only be doing this for about five years. And it turns out, you know, here I am 24 years later and we're still finding ghosts. So it's it's really exciting. No, hey, listen, man, I, I think anyone that has, you know, some kind of an open mind, there's certain things that happen that there are no doubt that it's like, OK, what is that all about? Uh, there's, there's, there's no doubt about that. So let me ask you something when you say between lives. So is it is it not necessarily your thought process but a paranormal thought process that you have um like other people right here like we have a life like i'm looking right here but but there's someone else that's right here is it, it like a couple different worlds now that's going to depend on your belief system and your background but um the theory is that uh and i go with kind of the joseph campbell even though he's kind of a pop uh culture guy but okay. uh, he talks about there's two realms the natural down here and the supernatural here yeah and the local states are where the the two connect and what i found over the years is that invariably everybody has something strange that has happened to them that they can't explain uh it usually does deal with family or death of some sort yeah and something will happening right after so that's kind of that liminal connection now if you're buddhist yes uh the idea is that all of these realms coexist including the realm of the hungry ghosts and okay so we're moving through ghosts all the time which is kind of fun that's wild because you know what's interesting what you just said there right like when death does come what i've found is this it's like okay so it seems to me that we're here alive you have death here. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to have something so you're not scared the whole freaking time that okay, I'm gonna die. There's gotta be something else if this is it, right? That, you know, so that I, I can understand that that whole concept, okay, because guess what? I think everyone be running around saying, Oh no, that's all we're gonna do is die, right? You know, yeah, so a bummer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that would be there. And like kind of what you just brought up, um, whether it would be um, you know, people, even animals, I've done myself, you know, after someone's gone, I'm saying, oh, I think, I think they're there saying hi to me. And then yeah. even head-wise, it might be my own head, but I'd say, oh, I feel better now, <laughs> right? That's right. Well, even Freud, I mean, if you go back to Mania at Melancholia, and my, my Latin's terrible, but if you go to Freud, he even talks about ghosts as projection of our own minds, that, that it's internalized grief that's kind of creating this. So. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that's where paranormal investigation gets to be interesting because we do try to correlate uh, history. So I've got historians, offsite historians that will try to do research. Yeah. 
I've got some folks that are sensitives. They're not exactly mediums, but they think they can pick up and sense what's going on. Yes. And then we have equipment. And uh, in the past year, we've started working with the SLS kinetic camera, which kind of was popularized, granted, by television. But um, it's given us a few interesting results. And, um, you know, kind of working through any false positives, uh, we're still experimenting a bit with it. But it's kind of neat when you can actually get that verification. And um, that's what I always love, yeah. Now, when you just mentioned Joseph Campbell, is that the guy that, like, this is a long time ago, he had the radio program? Uh, yes, and he was he oh. used to travel, and he wrote uh, Hero with a Thousand Faces. So he came up with something called Monomyth, which is the theory of the hero's journey. Uh, and that's kind of one of his big pushes out there. But he does talk about the natural and the supernatural worlds and the in-between states. And one of my degrees is actually in religious studies. So I've, I've got three masters and a PhD, believe it or not, uh, even with the blue hair. But I'm also an artist, so we're doing The hair looks awesome, man. I mean, woman, yeah, it does. Course. I, I, yeah, I love that guy, Campbell. I, I've, I haven't listened to him a long time. And folks, I'm telling you, Google it. Uh, he has the, the, his... Um, the way he speaks is very self-empowering, I, mean, I think. I mean, And it's direct. Yeah. Um, I still use him for my classes as kind of an introduction to religious ideals. So, you know, when you start kind of looking at this idea of the two realms and then something in between, and, and we do find it culturally. Uh, you know, China has the yin and yang, the idea that these two connect uh, at the yin and yang lines. And, you know, I mean, you just, you find it everywhere. And it's really really very fascinating and admittedly i have to say you know once i pass on i i think i have a list of places that i'd like to go yeah <laughs> so, you know i want to check out rome again and some friends i'd like to visit just to say hey and then i guess we'll see what happens after that <laughs> so do you, do you figure are you going to try to program yourself before the fact yes i think i, I will Good try for to you. these ideas <laughs> We'll see if it works. Listen, I, I do that. I program myself every day, and I've done it for a long time. And I, I have programmed myself for exactly what you're talking about. And, and I know it's far out, but guess what, folks? It doesn't matter how far out it is. None of us know, so why not do it? <laughs> right? I mean, even Socrates said, you know, if you're dead and you simply sleep, then great. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's yeah. not bad to plan ahead. And then you have something called... Um, Pascal's wager, Pascal's wager, which basically says, you know, is it better to do it, uh, even if it might not exist? And the answer ultimately is is yes, because if it doesn't, it won't matter anyway. <laughs> I know. Like, oh. That's what's so cool about it, though, right? That's this is fun. Absolutely. And it is very unpredictable. Uh, there's no laboratory settings. We're not finding a lot of parapsychologists these days. Um, and academics are kind of slowly kind of starting to get into this. Uh, when I started, it was before the TV shows, uh, and I was a young uh, professor at the time, and uh, you know, I, I was teaching religion. Yeah. And I had students who saw me on an interview for one of our local news channels, and the next class period, they came in and they said, we know what religion you are, and I'm like, What's that? And they said, you're an occultist. Like, no. No. <laughs> I love I it. I work with the dead. I don't control them. <laughs> that is so good. Well, listen, Brandy, this has been absolutely awesome. Really appreciate it. The website, folks, is thespiritsofstpete.com. You can check her out on uh, Facebook, Spirits of St. Pete. This has been a pleasure. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again.